Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the animation in your split screen video using Filmora 10. So you know that Filmora 10 has many, many split screen templates. By the way, to control the animation effect of the templates is a little bit difficult. So in this video, I'm going to explain all about the animation effect in in your split screen video uh, inside this software you can control the animation of your template and you can also control the animation of uh, separate image or video inside that template also and we have keyframing and we have motion and we have preset and customize animation or stuff like that okay and before starting the tutorial i want to remind you that i have a special discount coupon code for femora 10 all all the information about the discount is in the description so be sure to check it out sometimes it's 20 percent and sometimes it's 44 percent and sometimes it's 60 percent uh, okay uh, so uh, right now I'm I'm here inside Filmora 10 and uh, we have the split screen uh, template here at the, at the menu uh, here so uh, we can click here and now we have uh, 30 different uh, split screen template and we are going to use this one uh, just a side by side split screen so the easiest one okay so to to use this one uh, we can click this button to add it to the timeline I'm going to click on that uh, it will be on the timeline okay and where is it okay it is here i'm sorry because i add so many uh, video track here uh, let's delete all the empty track first click here to delete the empty track and uh, now we have two uh, two video one and two and and we can use a video on image or stuff like that and right and drop it into this uh, area okay so for for example on this side i'm going to do this uh, video this is my video okay and I'm going to reposition it uh, to make it center okay and the, the next thing I want to have yeah, this one uh, just an image of me also it's all, all about me <laughs> okay sorry okay so just drag and drop it here and I can scale it down or scale it up a, a little bit or stuff like that all right uh, so now we have a, uh, we have the, the split screen template uh, with uh, one image and one video uh, let's click OK and the first thing when you double click at the split screen or the timeline you see here on the on the left side you have the enable split screen animation so this is the first animation for the template uh, if you're going to check if you check this box uh, you will have we have an animation for your split screen and this is the default animation uh, in Filmora 10 let's play it okay and it will look like this so just something if you don't like it uh, you can disable it okay but when you disable it your split screen is just a static frame so it will not have uh, any animation okay uh, by the way you can add the animation yourself uh, without checking this box uh, to do that you can double click at the split screen and now look uh, look on the top right uh, top sorry top left of the window uh, we have media video uh, by the way if you want to to get rid of this border you can uncheck the uh, the border here the, the border option and here we have the animation okay so this this is the animation for your template remember and this one is a preset so uh, you also have some preset animation uh, and also you have motion because uh, previously in Filmora 9 we have uh, motion and now in Filmora 10 uh, we still have motion and we can use the motion for our template also okay so let's start with the uh, the preset animation first for example i want to uh, have the template uh, slide from the left to the center and then pause for one second and then go to the right okay to to use this one i'm going to double click here double click at the preset animation to create keyframe for your split screen template or the timeline and you can see here we have four keyframe the first one the second one and the third one and the fourth one okay and let's play it to see how the animation look like okay let's play very nice right so it is look a little bit different compared to uh, compared to this one the, the default animation of Filmora 10 uh, so you can also control the speed of the animation here with the keyframe so you know how to use keyframe in Filmora 10 right 
just drag this uh, keyframe to the left uh, to speed up the animation and to the right to speed us uh, to slow it down okay and do the same for this one and it is a pause if you want to pause this um, uh, longer then you can just adjust it and you want to delete the animation all you need to do is just, just clear all the, the keyframe or the timeline uh, here you can right click right click at the keyframe okay and then you can uh, select clear all keyframe yeah like this so you don't have any an animation anymore okay so that is for the preset how about the motion uh, we can select one motion for example flip up one uh, or flip down two uh, i'm going to select this one flip up one okay i just double click at the motion to apply it and now you you see here on the timeline uh, at the template or uh, we have a, a small dot uh, at the top left corner it is the motion so we have the motion for the template and we can play it uh, to see how it look how it looks i'm sorry okay That is nice, right? Uh, but remember, when you use it, the motion, uh, it will be something that you cannot control the, uh, the keyframe and you cannot uh, adjust the speed or stuff like that because that, that, is, the, that, that is the way uh, Femora and I offer the motion for us. Okay, uh, so that is for the, for the template. And now, what if you want to control the, the animation inside the template, for example, the video or the image inside it? And now you have to go to the advanced edit. Uh, to do that, you can uh, simply click here at the advanced edit here. By the way, I'm going to disable the motion first. Uh, I'm going to select no motion here. So we we have the, the option here, no motion, uh, no animation. Okay. So I'm going to double click uh, at the uh, here. So the the motion uh, motion icon disappear. And now I'm going to the advanced edit. Uh, I can click here or I can just right click at the template on the timeline and then uh, go to advanced edit here all right it will open a new window for you all right so here uh, we have a new windows and uh, remember this is this look the same the same with the main uh, video editing timeline so we have a preview uh, window here and we have the timeline uh, at this area and we also have some property here uh, for for the animation, we can select here at the animation tab. By the way, we have to select select the image or select the video. Uh, then uh, we can go to the animation tab here. Okay. And so at the animation, we also have preset and we also have customize. For the preset, uh, it is the same with the uh, with the template outside. So we have the preset animation and we have the preset motion here. We can select any any motion and any preset animation for each each part i mean uh separate track here okay for example uh, this video i'm going to select uh, one simple voltage in uh, animation so i'm going to double click here at the voltage in for this video and it will create two keyframe for us so this is a keyframe it is the first one and this is the second one and remember you can also control the speed control the speed of the animation here okay so i'm going to make it right here so this is the voltage in for the video uh, let's play it okay so it is look a little bit lucky because i'm using a screen recording software by the way for the image i can select the image and now i'm going to select a motion for the image okay so it's just just a way um, it is just the information you need to know about about the animation effect for your split screen okay so we can select a motion for for my my image on the right so move to top move to right uh no I, I can I think photo spin is uh, is better okay so I'm going to double click at the motion here so it will add a motion to my image here on the timeline all right looks nice right so we have this one this is the the animation of the video and image inside the template uh, let's play it wow 
OK, so now we can click OK to go back to the timeline. Let's click OK. And now we have the we have the animation effect for our video and image inside the template, and we can also add a, a motion or animation effect for the for the template outside. So we have different kind of animation effect for our video. Uh, like just uh, double click here and then go to animation. And now we need to yeah maybe select uh, one of them. Uh, okay, slide up, slide right. Uh, yeah, I'm going to uh, use slide right and going to double click to create keyframe for it okay so we have a keyframe here and this is for the templates and inside the templates we also have some animation effect uh, let's click ok and preview it mm. <laughs> very nice and messy animation okay so that is how you can add animation to your split screen template and uh, stuff inside it for the video and for the image and that is just uh, how to use the animation effect for your split screen by the way you have uh, one more solution to create your own split screen video uh, by using the keyframing also if you want to know about that trick let me know in the comment section below. And that is everything for this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Okay, bye bye.